Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Kanita and if you are new, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and hit that notification bell so you know the next time your girl posts. And for all my boss babes that has been following me, thank you. So you already know what today is. It's another hair review, ladies. The hair that I will be working with is from Makati, if I'm not saying their name wrong. But this is a 26 inch lace front human hair wig. Um, it is for black women. It is Brazilian virgin human hair, 150 density. It's pre-plucked with baby hairs with a natural color. So let's jump straight into this. As you guys can see, I'm opening the packages. So if you do decide to order this hair, this is how your package should be delivered to you. So y'all, this is some beautiful soft hair. That word Brazilian gives exactly what it is, Brazilian. And it is beautiful hair, ladies. Y'all, I what you will see, make sure you guys stay for this video till the end. I am going to be talking throughout this video. Of course, you're going to get an install on the process on how I install this hair. So just make sure you ladies stay to the end of the video so I can let you know the tea on what happened in this video, y'all. Um, as you guys can see, this is how the hair is. It's on the inside. It does have the combs and the adjustable straps. So all the norms and um of course it had that back comb y'all know a sister like the back comb and the lace was really good and nice to work with as well it melted just as it needed to melt i'm trying to make sure i'm not leaving out any important facts this is a 4x4 in the top so i didn't let you guys know that and it is straight human hair so like i said Ladies, stay to the end of this video because I have to talk to y'all. I have to let you guys know what I did in this install, what happened, and how this hair still remains. So stay tuned. Okay, ladies, I'm back. So let's get into this install. So as you guys can see, I am showing you guys some gloves, my regular mixing bowl, um, the 30 developer, <clears throat> and this wax. You guys, I wanted to give you guys a green, you know, without dying. So I tried to come up with something, you know, a new project just to see how this work I haven't used it before I've seen other people use it and watch their reviews so I said I was like oh I'm gonna do this let's show them the green my nails was green so let's let's get in the green field so that's what I did I thought I would mix it with some developer because I knew it was like a waxy feel so I was like let's get this done in like a gyp I was like thinking that it would get you know be a little bit softer if i did it this way and it did come out soft this way as far as me mixing it putting it on the hair the hair did remain soft with that so beyond that point y'all this green wax got everywhere it was on my combs my brushes my flat irons my straightening comb in the sink on the floor on my shirt oh, i guess you guys get the point it died the front of the frontal the forex board y'all this wax took me through it but i still tried to stick with it but i like my hair flowy i don't know about everybody else as you guys can see, I got some new ghost mine glue. Yes, I wanted to try this one. I am going to get the bow hold, but I did want to try the ghost bun because I haven't tried that one yet. And I wanted to see the difference between all of them. So this is that glue. So yes, ladies. So back to this green wax. So as you guys can see, it's green everywhere. Throughout this video, you guys will show, I will show you guys a little bit on the things that it did get on it stained or whatever it's supposed to be wash out so I was like I'm gonna stick with this I'm going to do this little green without dying it that was a mistake I will not ever 
use this wax again. A lot of people do it and they make it look cute, but I don't like a stiff feel to my hair. I don't like that feeling at all. Y'all, when I use the flat iron, it bubbled. It bubbled and made them like little balls. So it was just like a nightmare with this green. It was a nightmare, but I still tried to stick with it. But I would not ever, ever purchase that again. If somebody else has used it, let me know how it worked for you. But me, no, it did not give what it needs to give. Y'all, when I flat ironed it, like I said, it bubbled up. So it started to disappear as you put it on there. Now, I didn't read the instructions or any of that. But I can't give it to you all. But if you got any questions, ask me in the comments and I got y'all. So what I end up doing was giving you guys, I had to go get a blue spray because the green started coming out either way it went. And I still wanted to do a pop of color in this hair. Next time I know I'm just going to bleach and that's just what we're going to do. But it still turned out really pretty. Y'all, this hair remained super soft through this process without the green wax in it. It still remains super soft. Y'all, it hit the length check. All this information for this hair will be in my bio. So if you're looking for something long, y'all, this hair stood its ground. It still remained soft, flowy, um, and it wasn't you know, hard to manage after I got that wax out of there. It still remained pretty. See, I still got my little bounce going and all of that, but Y'all, everybody makes mistakes on doing hair. Everybody has to try things, but in order to try things, you have to make a mistake somewhere down the line. And this was a true mistake, but <clears throat> I still love the hair. I give this hair a 10 out of 10. After all I put it through, it still remains so pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all, that experience was the worst. I was like, I want to give them a color. I want to give you guys a color without dyeing it. So I was trying something new. We got to try something new sometimes, you guys. Step out of our zone and try it. And so that way we'll know if we want it, if we don't, or whatever the situation might be. We have to figure that out. So always experience. Always try different things with your hair, whatever you got with your hair, with bundles, a unit, whatever it is that you have, try something new, step out of your zone. And that's what I did. So now I know the wax is not for me. It is not. So, but I really enjoyed this spray um, can, um, the hair color spray. I really enjoyed that. I didn't show you guys in this video. I forgot because y'all, I was stressed out. I was stressed out through this process but at the end of the day it still remains super cute thank you guys